Hello, and welcome to this third video in using Blender as a video editor. Uh, so far, we've talked about how to actually get to the video editing screen, how to uh, bring in a video uh, either from the add menu or by dragging and dropping, how to change the start and end uh, frames for your rendering and playback range. Uh, now we're going to talk about how to change the individual panes uh, to show what you want and to show and how to adjust the properties of your video. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to go into the video editing screen. I'm not going to touch this for now um, just because we're going to be changing that and I'll need the space. I'm bringing in the video. Uh, as before, I'm going to take that length uh, in terms of frames and I'm going to stick that here. And then I'll press the home key here so that I can see that now we have the full full frames. Uh, everything in the video is going to be in our in our uh, rendered output. Now, before we talk about changing the panes, let me click the play button. And then um, I want to show you this. Over here, you can see the frame rate is listed in red. So FPS and roughly 10, maybe sometimes 11 frames per second. It's showing it in red because it's actually far under what it should be. This video that I, I've loaded in is 24 frames per second. And the reason that Blender is showing it only at 10 is because it's doing something uh, behind the scenes that we haven't talked about yet. It's actually trying to take our input video, match it up to the, um, the dimensions of the project itself, and then play it, and then uh, preview that. And that's why it's slow because the by default uh, blender projects they will have an output resolution of 1080p and my computer is simply underpowered i can't handle that but now now i'm going to show you how we can change the properties of the video of the uh, project now if you look here uh, all around the, the the interface you see these buttons with the up and down arrows and when you click on any of them they tend they show more or less the same thing and this is basically how you can change what you're seeing on the screen so right now this is the graph editor so you can see if i find graph editor and click on that so nothing changes if i go to this menu and i choose properties now all of a sudden it's showing something completely different and this is where we need to go when we want to change the properties of the our video project including the resolution so as you can see here, it's 1920 by 1080. If I go back over here to my the video strip, I look here and it says the dimensions are 960 by 540. So if I go back over here and I type those values in, press tab to move on to the height, press enter there. Now, if I hit the play button, you'll see that there's no problems. Blender is able to give me my playback at the full 24 frames per second of the original video, and everything's fine. Um, we can scroll this in and out, and, because you notice that when I changed the, re the resolution, it, it, sh it uh, shrunk this preview down, so I'll just hit the home button, and now it's playing properly. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all. That's most of what I wanted to talk about in this video, except for uh, one more thing. So, so far I've mentioned the home key as a very handy uh, shortcut for uh, adjusting the zoom of a particular pane to uh, so that it matches uh, as much as possible. One thing you'll you'll notice, one thing you might that might trip you up as you learn more about Blender and use Blender, and you'll see that actually um, where your mouse is, is very important when you're pressing hotkeys. So if I press the home button now, it, it will auto zoom this preview. Now, if I move my mouse over to here and press the home button, now it's uh, auto zooming the sequencer. So as you can see, where your mouse is dictates what's going to happen, what blend, how Blender interprets your, your key presses. So keep that in mind when you start learning about more of these shortcut keys. Uh, if you're, if you're find, uh, learning about something and it's not working, uh, chances are it's because your, your mouse is on the wrong part of the screen. And also sometimes things work a little bit differently. So, I mean, as you can see for the properties pane, you can't really uh, zoom this. If I try to press the home button, it just brings me to the top. So 
different context, uh, different behavior. Uh, so that's it for this video. Um, hope you like that. And uh, next video, we'll talk about something that actually involves editing videos, I think. Okay, so enjoy and uh, bye for now.